Hi, this is Shaman Weaver, Sheila Baker. So this is for East West Books. It's October. Wow, what a quick year. So um, we're at the number 10. We've gone past completion. We began with um, one, the aces. We went all the way each, through each one of the suits. We had swords and wands and cups and pentacles so these are all i'm going to put them up closer for you so you can see these are all the tens so i'm going to tell you about them also the 10 um because we're in month number 10 um the 10 is about the wheel of fortune uh, as major arcana so the wheel of fortune says that you have all of the elements taken care of the air the earth the fire the water and um but it's about the cycles, the turning of the wheel, uh, the cycles of rebirth and then blooming and then fruiting and then dropping, which is where we are right now. We're in that dropping place. So <clears throat> wheel of fortune, uh, what goes up must come down, the spiraling in to source yourself, the spiraling back out. So when you're spiraling in, what you're doing is you're really connecting with the heart center of yourself then with that information you bring it forward out into the world so the wheel of uh, fortune is always going on over and over and over think about you learn something you go inside you gestate it you feel right with it and then you bring it out into the world so that's the wheel of fortune so i'm going to start with pentacles and i'm going to put it up close a ten of pentacles, and you can see that the old man is touching the dogs. The little boy is also touching the dogs, but the mama. The man and the woman are connected. So pentacles, money, property, tangible things. The chair I'm sitting in, pentacles. The chair you're sitting in are pentacles. So things that you can touch um, are pentacles. The element of earth, trees, <clears throat> shrubs, bushes, flowers, all of the things that come out of the earth, pentacles. So this says that you have enough, enough money, time, resources, all of the physical world to go ahead and pass on a legacy. So there's a connection here, not just because you have the money to do it, but because you have the heartfelt uh, passion to do it, that connection. So there we have it, the pentacles, the ten of pentacles, connection, money, property, everything that you could need. The next card that I'm going to um, talk to you about is the ten of cups. The emotions look at the rainbow up here um, last month we saw contentment and we saw arms being crossed so that there wasn't uh, bringing in an outpouring of love so this is um, the element of water mutable fluidity uh, cups are uh, our emotional selves so this is all about having a happy home life um, children everybody being con beyond content this isn't just contentment this is uh, this is bliss so here you see everyone blissed out the ten of cups we started with the ace the hand reaching out bringing us a brand new beginning we went through all of them up to now and now we have uh, beyond contentment we have bliss so that's the ten of cups now with the ten of wands we have a whole different kind of story what we see with wands which are the element of fire passion drive connection to the divine we see somebody i'll put it right up close you can see he's buff nice big biceps nice big thighs can do the job but does he have to do the job so these wands are um, burdens and so as you look at this and as you think about this are you carrying someone else's burdens a really wonderful shamanic trick for this is for you to take either pickup sticks you remember pickup sticks or toothpicks take 10 of them hold them up 
drop them down, have a look. Which of these belong to me? Which can I let go? And notice that you don't have to pick them all up and carry them around. These burdens are not all yours. And it's a wonderful thing when you do this, you can recognize that, oh, I've been carrying that burden for that person and that burden for the other person. What I think about carrying other people's burdens is that first of all, we get a poke, then we get a nudge, and then we get a wham. So when you're in front of somebody carrying their burdens for them, they don't get the poke, they don't get the nudge, they just get a wham and they're completely flabbergasted because where did that come from? because you've been like the basketball guard carrying it for them. So you might think, oh, this is a lovely, compassionate thing for me to do, but in actuality it isn't because it stops them from learning their lessons. And sometimes when it happens, they actually need to incarnate one more time to do this. So if you're ever tempted to carry someone else's burdens, call me. <clears throat> uh, shamanweaver.com uh, text me uh, the number is uh, on my website and let's have a conversation because I can spare you some uh, burdening and I can allow that person to get what they're really meant to get in this time and place the last card the swords is a really wonderful one so this says the end of a karmic cycle and I put it up close all these ideas are actually killing this person. And so you might have some thoughts and ideas that are actually harmful to yourself. They're actually killing you. They're stopping you from being your magnificent self. So the end of the karmic cycle, it's done. And when we get to the end of a karmic cycle, we get to let go of all of those ways of thinking because they have kept us small. And right now, one of the things that's happening is we're looking at what are my values? What do I value? What do I believe in? And when your values and you and your beliefs don't line up, then we have um, beyond the burdening of the wands, what we have is something that actually stops us from having a beautiful full-on life. So in the karmic cycle, let those ideas and thoughts go by, get new ones, you know, look at your beliefs, are they truly yours? Let go of the burdens that you're carrying that aren't yours. Become beyond content into bliss, happy, happy, joy, joy, and know that you have enough to pass on a legacy. And then also be aware that with all of this, the wheel goes around and around. And so be in the flow, uh, be your wonderful, magical self. And if there's anything I can do to help you, I would adore to do that. Shamanweaver.com. Blessings.